Hey everybody, Rocks the Box 90 here with Concert Arc here, official spoilers day two. We got a whole bunch of great stuff to chat about today, so let's hop right in with Sagu Mauler. Six for a 6-6 six, six, trample, hexproof with morph, three green and a blue. Wow, it's interesting this doesn't have the watermark that a lot of the other clan cards have. Kind of strange that it's not affiliated. It could just be because it's a beast and it doesn't have any affiliation. It's just like, no, smash, crash, Hulk-like could be that it's not affiliated or it's just a mistake or what I don't know but it has trample and hex proof which makes it a huge bomb in limited it also enables the Temu Timor ferocious mechanic which is also great because it's almost impossible to deal with so far in this format without one of the two wrath spells or a big creature that's bigger but we don't really have any this card is really strong for limited awesome bomb and Offenza the foremost, we have the clan leader, the white, green, and black. 4-4 four, four, human soldier for the Azban. Whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 one, one counter on another tapped target, tapped creature you control. And if a creature card we put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, you exile it. <laughs> we just had Sidisi and then Anna is like, Whoa girl, I'm riding a chariot and you got nothing on me. And that's exactly what is going on here. She completely hoses Sidisi, which is hilarious because we just, they're spoiled one after the other pretty much. And when she attacks, it's hilarious because her 1-1 one, one counter goes on another target tap creature, but usually it means something you're attacking with because you turn them both sideways and boom, your other attacking creature is now stronger. Very strong triggered effect. I think the hosing mechanic is going to be a little bit narrow in terms of, yeah, sure, people, if there's some sort of self-mill mechanic, fine, but it's not really going to happen that much. And the fact that it's only creatures means in Commander, it's not going to be as big a deal as you'd think. That being said, as a Voltron Commander, I don't like her so much because it's another target type creature. If she was for herself, that would be insane. But for Standard Constructed, this card, I think, is going to is excellent. Very well costed. 3 for a 4-4 four, four is very aggressive, strong in those colors. And I think that she has a good shot of seeing Standard Constructed play. Very cool. Then we have Mardu Ascendancy. The Mardu Clan's white, black, and red enchantment. Whenever a non-token creature you control attacks, you put a 1-1 one, one red goblin creature token onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Sacrifice it. Creatures you control get O plus 3 until end of turn. I suppose that's because Zergo is a 7-2, and so it would be either too broken or they want to support the toughness of the Mardu clan. But if you think about it, this is kind of hilarious when you put it alongside Goblin Rabble Master, because he's, when I think of your combat, you get a 1-1 Goblin with haste, every single time and it makes all your dudes stronger and then you put that together with this and you get multiple red guys. It's just absolutely insane with a very aggressive Mardu colored deck and I think that could definitely be something. Uh, in Commander it's okay, it's nothing particularly special, but I do think that instead has a good shot of being powerful and standard and if you work well with in it'll probably work well in a draft uh, in a draft limited setting. Abzan Ascendancy, black, white, and green for an enchantment whenever it enters the battlefield. You get a 1-1 one, one counter on each creature you control. <laughs> Whoa! And whenever a non control creature you control dies, you get a 1-1 one, one white spirit with flying. Wow, this is a card, people. Seriously, 3 mana to pump all your dudes. This is exactly what token decks want in standard. And the fact is that anything non-token dies, you get a 1-1 one, one flyer. That is ridiculous. This definitely has a major shot at seeing constructed play. And in limited, it's also going to be an excellent bomb, buffing all your dudes and making long-term value. Fantastic. See the Unwritten is our mythic, or other mythic, because we had an Offenza. Four and two green for a sorcery. Reveal the top eight cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest into your graveyard with Ferocious. If you control a creature, you can put two creature cards on the battlefield instead of one. I'll, a lot of people are saying that this card is a little too iffy because, you know, let's say you hit Elvish Mystic and a bunch of land, and that's useless. But come on, eight cards? What are the chances you're not going to hit something huge if you have an aggressively focused deck? If you have a Timor based deck where the creatures are going to be big. In Commander, this card is, I personally think, phenomenal. It should be easy enough to set up at least the top three cards to know you have huge bombs. And being able for six mana to get even just one huge bomb into play is insane. Being able to get multiple 
I think this card is a good shot. Yeah, it's not to the nail, but I do think it has a good shot at seeing major play in Commander, and I think it even has a shot in Constructed at the top of a curve, being able to eat through eight cards of a deck, and if they are all land, great, then it gets rid of all the land and sets up for your hopefully pulling a huge bomb next turn, but most of the time, chances are you're going to hit something big. I really like the design. I think it's an excellent card, and it has, I think as a shot of seeing Constructed play, it will definitely see some Commander play somewhere. So those are our spoilers for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown. I'd love to hear your guys' comments down below in the comment section about what we've seen. Let me know your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, check in and subscribe for more Constuck Gear spoilers coming to you real soon. As always, Rocks the Box 90 signing out. I'll see you guys next time.